I'm going to jump into what I call Get to Know Your Saturn Award Attendee. Okay. These are going to be some fun questions, I hope. We're going to start with what TV show would you love to do a guest spot on? Altered Carbon. Cobra Kai. Uh, I would love to do a guest spot on probably Game of Thrones. Well, I've done it already. I, I did Supernatural. I'd love to do it again. Channel Zero, which is another show that Don works on, and I think it's like an absolutely fabulous, fabulous show. It's terrifying. Doctor Who. Uh, anything Star Trek. Battlestar Galactica, but the I'm gonna say I don't know if that's the one reboot, but we're just gonna say that I was a really big part of it. Do you have a favorite sci-fi, fantasy, or horror film? Oh, you know, I would say Star Wars, but in, our, in the efforts of being a little bit more, I don't know, uh, interesting, I say Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Uh, let's see. Oh, the the thing from another world. I love this Shape of Water. Back to the Future. Uh, okay. Number one film, actually. Uh, Jaws 3D, because that was my first movie. <laughs> Mary Poppins. Okay. She can fly. Brain dead. Oh, it's yeah. Peter Jackson's original. Totally. What made him? What what made him? And it just like takes everything we do in Ash vs. Evil Dead and just raises it, raises the bar, sets it. What's the most you've spent on sneakers or shoes? I don't even want to say I did buy a pair of shoes that was um, two thousand five hundred dollars, but they were a special edition, and Dita Von Tees has the exact same shoes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> $1,500. No, I've got, a, I've got a nice pair of dress shoes. <laughs> these, are, these, are, these are probably about as, as high as I go. Uh, 400 bucks is the most I've spent on one pair. Maybe 250 I would say 120 mm, Probably $400, $500. What film really scared you as a kid? Jurassic Park. E.T. actually scared me, but it also, now I watch it, it makes me cry. I saw it way too early. Night of the Living Dead. Evil Dead, because my grandma used to show it to me on Betamax when I was 13. I would say The Shining and The Exorcist were kind of tied. What do you collect? This is so weird. Moleskins? That is not Moleskin the... notebooks, and it's a really specific collection. They have to be large size, they have to be solid colored, and then also I update the subreddit to make sure people know that the, the new colors have come out. <laughs> I collect compacts. I collect jewelry, I like jewelry. It doesn't take up much space. Souls. You know, I've been collecting posters. Posters from like the comics, uh, books. Oh God, uh, don't talk to me about Sideshow. Those bastards, they, you know, they give you like the first one free and then you're an addict sure. and then they've got you for the rest of your life. So I'm uh, kind of, a re I would love to say I'm a recovering sideshow addict, but I've yet to hit the recovery stage. Do you own any movie or TV show props? Yes. Uh, I have some from Back to the Future and some from Howard the Duck. Boom. Right. My Knights of Samaria ring. I have a lot of uh, Raven's underwear. Wow. You know, I think <laughs> and also the, the chip. When we got chipped in season I uh, three, I, I took some to chips. Uh, yeah, I definitely have many. I have many things. Many, many things from different jobs. Not legally. Of course. No. You didn't borrow anything from any sets. No, no, no. Of course not. I would never do that. That would be immoral. But if I did, um, I'd have a piece of one of the Enterprises. Um, you know, if I did, I would have maybe an item from Battlestar Galactica or two. When walking around Comic-Con, what do you love to shop for? Art. You know, I seldom am looking to buy, but you know, every once in a while something will just uh, catch my, my eye. I like the steampunk, uh, you know, accessories and things like that, but I seldom buy them. I just admire the workmanship. Um, I get a lot of presents from the fans. I, I, can, I can say that there's nothing I want when I leave because they give me everything. They, they really prepare to, like, give you whatever you know, they treasure the most, so I have everything. I like to shop for clothes. I'm always looking for new ways to decorate myself. You know, I really love uh, Artist Alley. Sure. There's just so many interesting uh, lenses into so many different franchises and worlds that we're big fans of, so I'd love to see what they're up to. Sometimes I shop for jewelry. Okay. Or like elf ears. Uh, do you remember what made you interested in the entertainment industry? That's a good question. I think it was just the ability to, you know, travel the world and do amazingly crazy stuff that's like the extension of your imagination. That, and again, my grandmother showing me films like Evil Dead as a kid. I didn't even know I wanted to be an actor until very late. I thought it was going to be a blue man. I wanted to be in the blue man group, really badly. Uh, I saw the musical Big when I was seven, and I just thought, 
the actors were so brave, and I, I wanted, I was shy as a kid, so I, I was like, I, I want to I wanna be that. I love telling stories. I love, you know, connecting with others. I, I love interpreting a character that people can connect and feel. I love Luciana, my character on the show, because I see girls all over like, oh, she's such a badass. That means that there could be badasses too. I just always have known I was supposed to be a writer from about the age of eight. Yeah. I, I just knew that's what I was supposed to do. I mean, I think everyone likes entertainment, and I really like stories, so it was the possibility of helping tell stories for people that like stories. I mean, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I didn't get into it for. I hate being around people. You're here to hear. I don't like it. I don't like red carpets. I don't like any of this shit. But I love stories. And I love the people who make stories. So it's this very strange love-hate thing. I'm surrounded by people, but I'm like, no, these are your friends. What TV show have you watched all the way through more than once? Um, uh, Handmaid's Tale. Uh, I love The Strain. Broad City. Cobra Kai. Battlestar Galactica. Of course. Duh. I think House of Cards. What, uh, my last question for you. What movie have you watched the most in your life? I watched uh, Star Wars seven times, the original Star Wars. I was obsessed with it. <laughs> thing from another world. <laughs> Mary Poppins. Harold Maud. Probably episode four. I love Breakfast, I come breakfast at Tiffany's right now. Sure. I love I Why love wouldn't that. you? No blood in it. It's just a love story. <laughs> uh, where dreams may come. And I'm a proud nerd to admit that the movie that I have watched more than 20 times is Galaxy Quest.